okay, what happened? Oh my gosh. All right. I got chased by two black rhinos. Good morning from Zimbabwe. So this is our final week for our summer semester on safari and we saved the best for last. This is like graduation and this place is perfect for it. As we go on, we remember all the times we spent together. As our lives change from whatever, we will still be friends forever. Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back you I don't think I've ever shared this in our videos But here's a little bit of behind the scenes When we arrive somewhere new, before the kids go in and like make a terror of things Jess hangs back with the kids and I go in and take some video of the place while it's still like pristine and clean You were inside forever <laughs> My mind was blown What number are we? Oh. Uh, Jess, this place is incredible. <laughs> well, welcome home. All right, <laughs> Jess, call everyone we know. <laughs> <laughs> this place is really big. All right, I'm ready. welcome. Did you know it looked like this? I didn't know. I didn't think I knew we were getting the hat, this house. I thought we were just in like a villa. So I purposely don't do a lot of research beforehand when we go places so I can just like experience it. Never before have I been more grateful that I do that than this place because I, I had no idea that a place like this even existed. Kylie, what are you doing? Doing my job. Oh, you're doing a great job. Are you doing it the way that you wear your shoes? Go on backwards. Go check out the bathroom. Wow. This is bigger than... This is bigger than our house. Babe, I'm going to take a bath. Nah, check out the bathroom, the shower. <gasps> what in the world? We went from no shower <laughs> to two showers. <laughs> How'd you do that? And you put an outside shower now. <laughs> you put Life changed. What? We're moving it. <laughs> Go, Kelly. Kids' rooms. Wow. There's been for months. Let's go look. Yeah, there's more. Keep coming. There's just. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we gotta just call all our friends. Get more people out here. One more. One more. What? One more. Do the rescue. What? Wait, guys, stop. Hey, what do you think of this place? Crazy. Crazy cool. It's super cool. Hey, but this is a very special place, okay? okay? So be very grateful that we get to stay here. This is a very special opportunity. Okay, go. This is my bed. Everybody party! Everybody! This is my bed. This week, I want to start. This week, the kids decided to study hippos. I fell in love with hippos she this did. week. And you like <laughs> our first night, they were like, okay, let's go. We'll take you on, on like um, a little boat cruise around um, this dam. And I fell in love with hippos. Oh, wow. That bird which is calling, it's called a trumpet a hornbill.
mind blown for me when I had never seen this before. But hippos can book it. Like they can move really fast underwater. They're not swimming, but they're like running. Fast. Yeah. And the, meanwhile, they're blowing up bubbles. So when you're in a boat, you just see at the surface, this trail of bubbles. Can I sit down? Okay, sit down. Oh, he went under us. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Mom's crazy. Do you want your kids to be eaten by hippo? I am tripping with this boat. Oh my god. and super dangerous, but also just funny. All right, mom, give us your best hippo. Mm -mm, that was bad, I take it back. Go, Kai. <laughs> Which is also his Santa Claus. What's your best hippo, Sam? <laughs> oh, Dorothy, that's a good one. I have an idea. When we get to our swimming pool, we'll go where we go underwater and we blow bubbles. <laughs> we wiggle our ears. But if we blow bubbles underwater, then you can. <laughs> yeah, that's a hippo. <laughs> yeah, that's a hippo. Go for it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I got better. Okay, so... First, do your... May I talk about something? Yeah, go ahead. Howie, what Wait. do you know about hippos? They go on another so I can't get on them. Okay, I gotta go wash my feet, guys. You keep talking to the camera about hippos. Wash oh. his feet. So when they make their sounds, it's not even coming from their mouth. It's coming from their nose. Can you make the sound? No. <laughs> Who's the winner? Me, Callie, or Manila? Me. No, it's me. It's Dorothy. Alright, what else do you know? Their skin is sensitive, so then they stay underwater. Hey, Callie, what else do you know about hippos? They have big ears, and when they open their mouth, it's so big. They're okay. <laughs> are so sharp. They're like this big. Isn't that so big, Callie? No. Like this big. These teeth, this big. Looks like this big. They look like they must eat fish, but they don't. They, they don't. eat grass. They eat grass. Yes. And their and their canine teeth is only for defense, not for eating grass. Cause that'd be weird. Just like us. This is what it sounds like when a hippo poops. Yeah. Yeah.
sort of giraffes. Looking on the, um, and then way over there, there's some zebra. Hey, Dorothy. Mm -hmm. Are you and Callie best friends? Yeah. For how long? <laughs> Callie, look at it. Good job, Callie. Yeah. Hey, was it scary? Yeah. <laughs> How close was it? It was like this close. <laughs> yeah. It was close to your side. We were all back here and you were like right next to it. Sometimes I lay under the moon I thank God I'm breathing And then I pray, don't take me soon I am here for a reason Being here in the Millilongwe Private Reserve and learning about this trust and what they're doing here, it absolutely blew my mind. And it started with one of our first nights and we learned about the Millilongwe Scouts. What motivates me when I get up in the morning is to protect this land. I enjoy what I do and it allows me to support my family. It's not just a job, but a way of life. Surround yourself with people that lift you up and make you laugh. We are proud of what we do every day in our jobs, monitoring and protecting wildlife. It blew my mind how these uh, how they figured out a way to create something that solves so many problems and is just a wonderful solution for so much. I, it brings me to tears how wonderful this is. What makes me proud of being a scout here is because we are winning with our anti poaching <laughs> Sangoma, 
Okay, what happened? Oh my gosh. All right. I got chased by two black rhinos. He got chased by two black rhinos. I love it. Gonna see if this pool is cold enough to ice bath. Ah. You can't tell me about it. I'm dying to know. Okay, we get to the runway, the airport mm -hmm. dirt runway, and all of a sudden, the guy, the like main guy, is like, "Stop!" And we all stop, and all of a sudden, there's a really loud honk on the horn, and a jeep is like, the safari jeep is like cruising towards us, and Mike, the director guy, jumps out and is like, "Garrett, run!" <laughs> I turn, and I just see like like dust on the end of the runway and at first I'm like are those Impala what the heck two black rhino Stop. are running to us and I was just like ah. I look and everyone who just until then had been like robots just like <laughs> soldiers with you know so in line all of a sudden they're all just like like looking at each other and uh yeah I'm like, I was like Gary, run to the jeep I book it <laughs> <laughs> run, run, run get to the jeep i had my gopro i don't know if it was running at this time or not I think so. oh cool Good job, buddy. okay one second let me get everything ready for you okay black rhinos were way different than white rhinos they were like bolting around and like full speed the whole time so i get into the jeep and he's like let's go like look at him and then we like turn and start cruising towards them and they just bolt into the bush and he's like we'll never catch them they're gone forever you know so what did everybody else do? They go climb a tree? You about to go climb a tree? <laughs> I loved it. I hated it, but I want to do. You're gonna, you're gonna I want to. I want to like play soccer with them. I want to do their like oh, weight no. training and their course and everything. Get them out awesome. on the soccer field and then go show them. Be pressed. But then guess what? So then I find out that they love to play soccer, and in the video they had shown them playing on like dirt, and so I agree. Yeah, I want to go play soccer with them. We're on the way to the soccer field, and Jess is like. Knowing Singita, I bet it's like this really nice soccer field. And that, like, the longer you're at Singita, you just learn that they do everything at the best level. We got clay tennis. We got this tennis. And we got. What? How are you feeling, babe? Oh, I'm feeling real good right now. We are in the middle of Zimbabwe on safari. And out of nowhere, we have this perfect pitch. Moral of the story. Singita, you do it right. Everything. Life, soccer, cooking, all of it. Go get them, zebras. Look at this riffraff. Versus these fools. Yup. Yachi? Yeah, yeah! Yes! Take him, take him. Oh, what a ah! Yes. How you feel, babe? Best day of my entire life. That was so fun. Oh, except did you see the score? Yeah. I feel like it was a mental thing. As soon as our team was called the Zebras and we're playing the, the Lions. In matching uniforms. We'll get them next time. Dad. Dad. I was saying go, but you didn't score goal. Oh, I scored. <laughs> I scored one, buddy. Good job. He's an imposter on your team. He's <laughs> <laughs> an imposter on your kitchen team. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. So being here for a full week, we really kind of got to know the staff. And they were so kind as to invite us and the kids one day to join them for their school. 
because it's a special day. Do you call them nappies here? Do you know yeah. what we yeah. call them in the United States? What? We call them diapers. Yeah. <laughs> and we're supposed to put them on our bums, not our heads, huh, Manila? <laughs> <laughs> and I think that might be familiar. What does this say? On safari. Mm. Is that what you guys are doing? Yeah. And we are very honored and we feel very special that you come to visit us. Yes, hearing is one of them. So we've got taste and we've got hearing. Let's have do and then Dorothy. Um, you can see. You can see. Good. Bring your hands together like this. Can you feel the rain, guys? Yes. Dorothy, what's your mean razor face? Oh, that's a good one. What's yours? Yeah. But no, what's your race face? Oh, super serious. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this is fast. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. You mark, say go. Oh, oh no, I got it! Oh, 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 So as you can see, this place, as Kelly would say, is mega special. Oh, Manila last night on the drive back, he goes, I don't, I don't want to leave this place. And he's like, I'm really going to miss the chef in place. And I was like, chef in place? What does that mean? He goes, no, chef and place. I'm going to miss this chef and I'm going to miss this place. We had a private chef, Waylon, <laughs> whose music is gracing some of this video. And uh, man, how do you explain? Explain, wait a minute, how do you explain a man that is more than a man? <laughs> that is the greatest thing that's ever happened to you in that. We ate like kings this week. It was... It was special. It was really nice. We made meringues that are so good. They're so good. And we're so good. I'm the pizza right now. One adult scrub, one adult scrub, one adult scrub. Hot on the streets with a graduate diploma Check my persona, I'm fresher than a donor Four years down the line, feel like I've been in a coma Now I smell freedom and I love the aroma First I'd like to acknowledge the people who funded my passion Who got it against complacency and always took action I'ma put you on a hill with a 25 acre mansion But right now let me get with these girls and they fashion Wake up every morning and my phone is blowing up Couple hours later everybody is showing up I'm ready to pay back, I'm ready to own up I'm ready to grow up but not be a grown up. Chef, you made Manila's very favorite food. Corn on the cob. Look at that plate. Thank you. I'm gonna pass you the whole plate so you get first picks. This is Manila's special order. Take your first picks, bud. You can have one, but Manila gets first picks. Pick two. Two tiny ones. This one and. And this one. Okay, pick one. I'm gonna pick this bold nice. one and that on two. Two bony ones. Two bony ones. <laughs> <laughs> Inside, please. Yeah, what? It's this so nice. <laughs> So as you can see, we absolutely love this place. We love Singida, and we want to come back. If, if you would perhaps be interested in returning to this place together with us, should we do a bucket list group expedition here? Yeah, we were talking about maybe doing one and also including a lot of like fitness and working with these scouts. I think we got to make it happen. All right, if there's any interest out there for us to do a bucket list group expedition to come here at Singida, email us, comment on this video, DM us on Instagram, let us know.
I'm not gonna lie, as soon as we arrived, we were like, where, what other Sinkita properties can we go to next? But also, where do we go from here in life? I know, where do we go from here in life? Nah, we loved it and we're so grateful. Thank you, Sinkita. We love you, Sinkita. No, 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 no. Yep. Yep. <laughs> 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 Friends forever.